Now here in strategy rules, this is where you might come, you actually would come to implement your own rules. So the point is, I'm giving nice names. So what's happening is that once we have this OHLCV data, data frame, this object here, we're going to add some new columns, which will be the results of the computation of the indicators. So that then the backtest engine, the backtest, backtest engine, the backtest code, the function, etc. You don't have to touch anything. It just knows it's going to get this table with the names, etc. And it will run the backtest for you. But here you need to be consistent in what comes now. So the first is how do you compute the, the indicators? You can see here in my example, we're only considering one. So I called it RSI and I'm using this TA library. Go check it out if you want the documentation here. There's a lot of indicators that you can compute with it. I've put some example, random examples here that you might want to look into. So you get a feeling, but you can see always. And of course, in here, you can do your own computations as well. What is important is just to know that you're filling columns in this data frame and put some nice names because you will reuse this to define the strategy rules. We'll see that in a second. 